So with this being in a bear market and the prices are declining, I still think the metaverse sector will be one of those profitable sectors when things finally start to recover. And the question is, is the metaverse token VIMP undervalued? Well, there have been venture capitalists actually buying this token at these prices, and I'm going to be showing you that in today's video, as well as a few other updates. But before we go any further, I briefly want to mention this video is sponsored, but remember, just use me only as an informational source, not a financial guide, because I'm not here to tell you to buy this token. I'm just here to shed a little bit of news on what's going on with this specific project. But let's go ahead and jump into it right after this. Welcome to the MTI show. I'm Mike the investor where we talk about crypto NFTs and passive income. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are venture capitalists actually buying into this token. Now there was a tweet put out and V Empire actually retweeted it. And just to give you a brief overview. V Empire is the largest decentralized, you know, metaverse organization currently due to assets and their native token is called the Vim token. Now, if we briefly look at Twitter here, you can see if we look right here, I'm going to blow this up a little bit. You can see Vim purchases and these are the venture capitalist investors that have invested. And if we look right here at the price, you can see this is the average price that they are actually buying around two cents, almost two and a half cents. So the question remains, what do they know? Right. And if we look over at their chart, the chart has been, you know, a little bit rough. Definitely, if you look on the 90 day being down about 80 percent. Now, if we look here, we can see their all time high is around 65 cents, give or take. And if we look here, they had another little run a few months ago around 20 cents. And now you can see it's just been a big consolidation. But at this price, we have venture capitalists that is buying into the specific token. And so the question remains. What do they know? And is this token undervalued? But the next thing I want to dive into is V Empire has now got the verified seal from Machinations, which is pretty much a game tool software that helps, you know, monitor the economy of the game. And you can also see they are now verified on Twitter as well. And you can find their uh, NFTs for the game here on OpenSea. You can also see they are verified as well on OpenSea. It's pretty much a trading card game that's played to earn, and the winner earns about 90% of the profits. Now, the next thing I want to dive into is their metaverse pool staking yields. And with those being, you know, in a bear market, and if you're still holding certain assets, it would definitely be nice to earn some passive income while you're holding. And so these are their main pools here and you can see you're earning VIMP as well as E. So these are double yield staking pools, right? And so one thing that's very interesting that I like that they finally are going to add is a stable coin staking pool, which is the USDC state uh, stable coin on the Binance smart chain. So I don't know when this is actually going to be launched and I don't know what the yield is going to be, but typically the more people that stake, the lesser the yield will be. So getting in first is how you get the most yields, but it's nice to see that they've opened up a stable coin pool. I don't know the date, but it'd be nice to see uh, when it is launched. And so real quick, a question people ask, because I definitely wanted to know this as well. How do they pay their yields, right? Because remember, they have a double yield. So you're earning the actual metaverse token you're staking, and then you also earn some of that yield in the VIP token. Now, I'm not going to read all of this, but I briefly just kind of want to highlight this. So they use mana as an example. So when investors contribute mana to decentralized staking strategy, we pull it together and we use it to purchase high value land parcels in desirable areas that are otherwise inaccessible or out of reach for the average crypto holder. Number two, our staking strategy has given us the resources to invest in five land parcels of varying sizes of which we use to build the ancient Roman architecture that are some of the most architecturally advanced developments in the industry. Now, it goes on to say that many of our uh, virtual real estate developments are prepared for monetization through a combination of combination of play to earn mini games, leasing and hosting events. You can see their quarter four report has around seven hundred and nineteen thousand total staked in the decentralized strategy. It goes down here to go into a little bit more uh, information. So this is like a whole thread that kind of like breaks down 
how they're actually paying out these yields you know to investors so i just wanted to give you a brief update on the vimp token let me know down in the comment section do you think this token is undervalued do we think it can retrace when the market starts to recover you know to its previous all-time highs or could it set new all-time highs let me know down in the comment section and i will see you on the next one